Okay, so I'm sitting here with Emma and she asked a, a, a good question. Um, when she meal preps, for instance, her dinner is gonna be salmon and Brussels sprouts. So she wants to know about her salmon. Does she cook all of it at one time or how does she meal prep that? So I'm gonna tell her what I do personally. So there's two things that I do based on my week and how busy I am. I'll get all my salmon and what I buy is a prepackaged one at Costco so they're already pre-marinated. That's the ones that I get. I, if I'm having a really busy week, I know you're a professor, mm -hmm. so if you have a very busy week trying to fit in, you have two kids, and you're trying to get your workouts in, you have a home, you have a husband, and you're not gonna have time to cook every day. So I can cook all my salmon, I grill it. I prefer to grill my salmon. I don't care for it too much in the oven. So grill all your salmon. Now prep your dinners for three days in containers so that it's already your Brussels sprouts already in there and your salmon. Everything's pre measured for three days. It's not too bad. I don't like it fish longer than three days because it grosses me out. The rest of the salmon, what I do is I get little tiny sandwich baggies and I measure my portions out after it's cooked in the sandwich baggies and then I put it in a freezer bag, gallon okay. bag. So your portions are already there. So on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you have prep food in the refrigerator. Wednesday night, you take out that bag and then prep it for the next containers. Uh -huh, for the rest of the week. For the rest of the week, so you don't have to go out and grill again. Okay. So that's one way. The other way I do it, if my day, let's say I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday night, I'm like, okay, I'm not too busy, or my husband can do it for me, he'll cook the rest of my salmon for Wednesday through Sunday for me. And then that's what I do, so it's fresh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I hope um, that makes sense for you. Does that make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Good. So I'll just um, cook it. I'll prep it for three days, three days of my meal prep. Mm -hmm. I can uh, freeze, freeze it. the rest of it. Correct. And then when, it's, when I'm ready, you can defrost it. Out and it. then do the rest of my week. Exactly. Okay, so another thing that people ask about breakfast, um, She's gonna be having Kodiak pancakes for breakfast. So what I do is I get four containers and I crack my eggs in the containers, like glass jars. Mm -hmm. And I crack my eggs and I put my Kodiak mix in there and mix it up with water. So I have four jars that are already pre-mixed. So in the morning, all I have to do is take out my jar, mix it in, mix it up, and then put it in my skillet. So I already have some prepped in the refrigerator, so I'm gonna show you right now. So I'm gonna turn off the videotape, but with, so that's what I personally like to do, is I prep, because I don't have time to crack all my eggs every morning. I just don't have that type of time. So I crack my eggs. Let's say, for instance, next week, you're gonna have um, two corn tortillas with five egg whites, or five eggs. Crack all your eggs up to four days, and they're done. Now, um, you don't wanna crack your eggs longer than four days because the eggs will go bad after four days. So um, I usually do about four days worth. Some people cook their Kodiak pancakes all seven days and they put them in a, a gallon bag. So all they have to do is grab it from the refrigerator, microwave it and they're out the door. I personally like my Kodiak pancakes fresh every morning because I, I, it's just with a cup of coffee, I just love that. So you have two options. You can do it fresh every morning and crack your eggs, put, measure out your little you know, powder. That's too much time for me. Or get your jars aligned, get all your mixes, or you can, on Sunday, prep maybe five pancakes or all seven, depending on what you want, and it's all in a gallon bag already made a fresh uh, you know, a pancake. Does that make sense? I hope that helps you visually. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna show you my um, pancake mix.